Hello, my name is Don. I have a lawn and landscaping business located in Virginia. And today, I want to ask you, if you own a business, what is the most negative time-consuming thing that you have to do in your business in order for that business to run? What is the most negative thing that you have to do that takes most of your time that you really don't like doing? Now, in my business, I do lawn and landscaping. And the most negative time that I have to do would be providing estimates. Um, now, the reason that is negative to me is because it's the most valuable thing in my business, but just because that phone rings doesn't mean I have that job. Nine times out of 10, when my telephone rings, it's a new customer wanting to know the prices of whatever service they're interested in, okay? Nine times out of ten, that customer is looking for, um, and they want to know how much I'm willing to charge in order to do whatever they're looking for. So, in order to run a proper business, you need to have a price point. You need to have a starting price. Um, so in order to do that, you need to be kind of familiar with your area. For example, let's take lawn care. If somebody calls for lawn care, you should, um, there should be certain questions that you ask. For me, this is how I start off the conversation. Um, let's say if a customer calls me for lawn care, the first question that I ask is, where are you located? That's the first question, okay? Because there needs to be, um, you need to, in order to make money in lawn care, you really can only do a set area, you know, a set limit, a set boundary, because you really can't drive 15 minutes in order to make what you make in your area that you are already established in. So the first question that I ask is, where are you located? So they answer that. The second question that I ask is, um, are you looking for a one-time cut or are you looking for general maintenance? And nine times out of 10, um, it all varies um, because I do one-time cuts, but I also do full maintenance and um, nine times out of ten, it depends on what time of the year it is. Um, let's say it's the beginning of the year and that customer says they're looking for ongoing maintenance. Okay, I ask them um, which neighborhood they live in because I'm already in that area and due to the fact that I've been doing this for a little bit of time, I already pretty much know um, um, their ground structure in that area. Let's say if they name whatever neighborhood that they're in, I already know how that neighborhood is laid out. I already know the size houses and the size properties in that area. So I try to ask that, which neighborhood you're located. And when they tell me that, I ask them, um, if they're looking for a full-time service, I tell them that pretty much I give them two options. This is how much it's going to be for a one-time cut, which is pretty high. And this is how much it would be for ongoing service. In my area, um, most customers get serviced every two weeks. So I tell them that you are looking at anywhere between, um, let's say, you know, I don't want to just grab numbers, but let's say they want their lawn cut every other week and I want to charge $60 every other week. I tell that customer it would be $120 a month and that customer would have to prepay for that month. Um, what's when I start? They would have to prepay for that month. Or I give them the other option of having just a one-time cut 
um, which they can pick or choose whatever they want done and we go from there but I try to give that customer some sort of price range where I'm charging so before I step on their property they are already familiar with how much I'm trying to charge okay because um, you don't want to do anything for free and estimates takes a lot of time so before i step foot on a property i kind of already i kind of already know how much i'm charging and that customer kind of already knows how much i'm charging and pretty much is already a closed deal okay so you should always have a price point you should always have some sort of starting price and you need to get familiar with your area and how much you want to charge customers um, in certain neighborhoods so that is what I do and it eliminates a lot of my um, estimate time and um, really when a customer calls me I already have I already want to give them some sort of pricing so before I step foot on their property I kind of already know that I have the job thank you for watching thank you for listening to Donima services